Hey, what's up, buddies? This is Hell Buddy again, and welcome back my last my SQL day format tutorial with using PHP day function. Okay, uh, first, uh, let us go back to my database. The database, I want to make the normal uh, statement. So let us go back. Okay, let me paste back the original. So this one. Uh, let me copy this. I click the go button. So this is uh, just we check my original times then day format. So now I just paste back on my day PHP page. Let me do the little mark for marking the variable. Um, I have to save it and then refresh the browser. See? Okay, this is my original times then retrieved from my database. Okay, and why right now I have to echo out? Echo out, let's see, echo out. This is um, the original, original database times them format. Okay, so you guys can recognize. Let me uh, do the break this. The break this. And here too, I need to break this. Okay. And then I echo, let me see, uh, PHP day, I'm using this day function, okay? So I uh, break, I'm going to break the line, all right, okay? And then uh, next I have to echo out, I'm using the PHP day function, so day open and close parenthesis and then in the parenthesis I do have two uh, parameters the first one I leave it blank and the second this is the variable um, I put the variable is a uh, uh, row and this is the array and I uh, put login day login day all right in there okay okay right here now we have go to just leave the page and we have go to the PHP uh, day function the menu so I will put the link on my hell body block but right here you can take a look for this is all the day format string day formats the description so you can take a look for this but right here I will make some very simple easy samples to show you guys if you put the lower case of D, that mean day, and the upper case of S, this is the month with English suffix. The upper case of F, that mean full name of month. And upper case of Y, that mean four digits number of year. So this is the very easy. I put a semicolon on the back of the of this statement, and then uh, let me save it, and then refresh the browser. So you can see. Okay, the first time, this is from the database timestamp format. The second one, I use the PHP day function, but you can see this exactly the string formats, but however, the year, you can see the year is incorrect. So what the hell is going on? Okay, now we have go to PHP stroke to times, string to times menu. And uh, this is like the, uh, what is that? This is uh, like, put the string to the Unix timestamp. So we have to use this function. So now I uh, just put the uh, string, str, to, tmd, this one, string to time and put the open parenthesis and the close parenthesis, cover the variables. And then I need to save it. I save it and then refresh the page. So you can see now the time string year is correct. This SMS from the database. Okay, uh, now let me uh, break this line. And uh, I, make, I go ahead to make uh, some more sample to you all. Let me copy this. Copy and paste. And paste one more. So I can show you guys different sample. Okay, now uh, let me uh, maybe just correct this. I use 
hyphen uppercase of M and hyphen uh, uh, lowercase of Y. And this one I do the same by just add the, the, the times, uh, hour, minutes, and seconds with um, AM or PM function. Okay, let's let me save this. Okay, and refresh the page. It shows you different types of the time format with using day function and string to time function. Okay, so times to do the last review. I have three ways to converse time format. The part one, the first video tutorial, we're using the MySQL day format with PHP while loop and for each function. To part two video tutorial, we use the MySQL as cross with using PHP array associate and if statement. And part three, the last this tutorial, we're using PHP day and string to time function. Thanks for watching and please subscribe Hellbuddy channel.